Big Poppy was talking about Mike Fires. Fires is the guy who's now with the Oakland A's. He was the whistleblower, former Astros pitcher, and Big Poppy had this to say. I, I'm mad at, uh, at this guy, the pitcher that came out talking about it, and let me tell you why. Oh, after you make your money, after you get your ring, you decide to talk about it? Why don't you talk about it during the season when it was going on? Why, don't, why, why you didn't say, I don't want to be no part of Oh, now? So you look like a snitch. Okay. So he thinks Mike Fires is a snitch here. He's not alone. There are guys who feel the same way. Uh, without Mike Fires, we don't know that the Astros cheated in 2017. Here is uh, Big Poppy on believing what some of the Astros are saying about Jose Altuve. I heard Correa the other day say to Kenny that Altuve had nothing that had to do with he because he don't like it. And let me tell you, I believe that. But let me tell you what the problem is. Just for being part of the group that was doing it, you are guilty as much as everybody else. That's true. I, I want to know who actually benefited from this because it's starting to feel like, hey, uh, I knew it was going on, but I didn't take part in it. Now Altuve, if I'm Altuve and I got in front of the media, I would have been livid if, if I, you know, when they first got in front of the media in spring training, I would have been like, hey, I was never involved in this. You know, don't know anything about this. Didn't agree with anything here. I mean, whatever. It didn't sound like he was... Everybody was contrite and apologetic. If I'm not involved in it, this is this could cost Altuve his Hall of Fame induction. I'd be a little more aggressive, I would think, in this. But, you know, if you're going to say, I didn't take off my shirt or didn't have you rip it off because I had a bad tattoo, okay. But if I'm not involved in this, I'd like to know who was involved in this. Because you start to get the feeling that nobody was really involved in it, and I didn't want to know, and I didn't benefit from this, and I don't know. Big Poppy also said, you know, why didn't Mike Fires come forward when this was going on? To that, I would say to Big Poppy, your Red Sox team is on the hook now to get punished by, ba by the commissioner. Probably uh, a week from today. Should somebody have come forward? Are you going to call out those players? Should J.D. JD Martinez come forward? Mookie Betts come forward? You can't be critical of Mike Fires and say, why didn't you come forward earlier? The Red Sox are going to get punished. And, of course, it's the manager who gets punished. The players don't get punished. But you want the players to come forward in real time and say, hey, we shouldn't be doing this. It, is he going to call out the Red Sox players? Because I don't think anybody came forward. You know why? Your manager is leading the charge, and you guys are benefiting. Yes. David Ortiz. Ortiz is listed as a special assistant along with Pedro Martinez and Tim Wakefield okay. with the Red Sox. All right. Yeah, so uh, Big Big Poppy uh, had some things to say there. but And I, I don't even get into the, uh, you know, talking about cheating and Big Poppy. He was, uh, you know... The Mitchell report that came out in 2003 and his name was on there, you know, do I have my suspicions? Absolutely. But that's, I'm not even putting that into this conversation about Big Poppy. It's just, you wanted him to come forward. Nobody in the Red Sox came forward. Yeah, McLovin. Well, it's not even that Big Poppy was on the Mitchell report, but he definitely played with Manny, who was later busted. Well, that's his best friend. Yeah, but PD's is a little different because I don't think everyone knows who's on PD's a lot. You keep it quiet. Well, right? I'm not saying he should have come yeah. forward there. Right, right. But some people on Twitter are no. saying that. But there is, I do think there is some hypocrisy from leftover from the steroid era. Like, they weren't, you know, you're calling fires a snitch, but everybody sort of put their head in the sand when the money was coming in steroid era. Well, there were so many. Now, that was systemic. That's why when people go, you know, the Astros, th this uh, scandal is the worst scandal we've ever had. And I go, no, it's not. I mean, steroids changed the game, the entire game, forever. Rendered records meaningless. Astros cheated to win. How deep did they go to, you know, cheat to win? Uh, did they cheat in the World Series in the playoffs? Who was cheating? To what degree? Okay, we can we can discuss that. Argue that steroids has changed the game. This didn't change the game. Put a stain on the game. But look at what this. We have an era. We have a steroid era. That changed everything. It changed salaries. It changed team success. It changed individual success. It changed. 
you know, stats, everything. The Astros cheating scandal, and I do believe there are other teams that do this or have done this and haven't gotten caught. But to say that this is worse, I don't agree with that at all. Not even close in my opinion. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.